Before the video starts, this is your DJ in the editing room, here to apologize for a few things. At the time when this video was recorded, I was feeling a little bit under the weather and was sounding a little stuffed up. In fact, you can probably still hear that in my voice right now. I was hoping it wouldn't be obvious, but after going through the footage, it absolutely was, so sorry about that. Uh, the other big note is that I must have messed something up while setting up my recording, because none of the in-game audio was captured. Luckily, nothing too exciting happened in this episode, no creeper explosions, nothing like that, so you won't miss out on much. I will have audio playing in the background, which I will leave a link to in the description, and I will make sure that this is fixed by the time my next video goes out. One last thing, I know everybody hates this, but I've got to do it since this is the first video on the channel. If you enjoy the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. That sort of thing really helps out new channels like mine. Thanks, guys. Hey, thanks for tuning into Disco Chaotica. I'm your DJ, and today we are going to be starting a brand new Minecraft survival series. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, here we are. We have just spawned into our brand new survival world. And, and we've already got a village. Okay, this is off to a great start. I am uh, going to try and avoid interacting too much with the villagers. Uh, if I get into an emergency situation, I might go and grab some resources from them. But I'd like to do things on my own starting out. And we are getting some flashing sheep in the background. I'm sure that's something to do with my shaders being totally out of whack. Uh, we are using a few client-side mods, and we are using some uh, a custom advancement pack as well. So we're going to be getting some extra little goodies as we go along the way. And I know maybe that's not the most authentic vanilla experience. You can see that we got extra two oak logs from that. But honestly, the main fun in Minecraft to me is just, you know, exploring and having a good time. And the resource collection kind of comes second. So I don't personally have an issue with having a little little bit of help, and it also comes along with... Here, let me take a look. So look at our advancements tab. It is... Oh, we've got some vanilla tweaks stuff in there. Um, but this is all... I believe this is all completely custom. Um, it totally replaces the default advancements. It's called the Blazing Caves Advancements Pack. It has over 600 advancements in there, so we will be getting those constantly. Uh, I can't promise that I'll have gotten all of them by the end of the playthrough, but I'll at least make my best effort to get at least a few of them. So we were having some minor rendering issues, a little bit of lag, so I have turned the render distance down just a bit, so we won't be able to see quite as far for this episode, and we are getting some flickering animals. Um, this is my first time recording with shaders, or really recording at all, so I am obviously going to need to fine-tune things, get things figured out, and hopefully get everything working nicely for you guys. Um, since this is the very first episode of the very first video going up on the channel, I would really mean a lot to me if you guys could leave a like, maybe even subscribe if you like what you see, because that will really help to get my, I guess, get my name out there so that more people can see my content and decide if they enjoy it. So I am noticing we have a cherry tree up there. Now we are in 1.19.4, but we are using the 1.20 uh, data pack, the built-in data pack that um, was created by Mojang. Um, it doesn't have all of the features that are going to be in 1.20. For example, some of the armor trims and the what are they called? The pottery shards are not in the current data pack but we will hopefully be seeing that update before too much longer. So once that happens, I will just update to the actual 1.20 and that we will have all of those additional features. You know, this lake looks like a nice little starting spot. It is pretty close to the village, 
Um, I was thinking about trying to keep clear of the village, give them the, their space, and try not to rely too much on them. But, you know, this is a nice, could be a nice little starting spot. I can run up the mountain, grab a couple of cherry saplings, and maybe do something with them as well. But I think, at least for now, this is where we're going to set up. And look at that, we've got a bunch of lovely flowers as well. Gorgeous. So it looks like that flickering as well as a little bit of lag was happening due to the settings that I had on the shaders. Um, I am using, let me show you guys, the shader pack that we're using is Complementary Reimagined. I tried a few of these others, but they were a little too much for my PC to handle. And I also just, you know, think that I want to keep this fairly similar to the vanilla look. Obviously we've got some improvements, some enhancements, but we're, we're keeping it fairly similar, so no fancy shadows, no dynamic, anything like that. At least not for right now. So here we go, first crafting table, let's make a couple of tools. when you think about it, really the only wooden tool that we need, especially with all of this stone around here, is our pickaxe. Let's go over, we grab this, and the advancement pack gave us a little bit extra, but we have already got enough stone to make a stone pickaxe, but the uh, wood age really didn't last that long. Um, so now, Get a couple of tools made. Actually, let's start out with a furnace. And we'll grab a pickaxe as well, why not? I think, like I mentioned, I am going to avoid taking resources from the villagers, even though I can see those hay bales right there. Um, I would like to try to do things on my own at first. Um, I may end up, if they have any carrots, I'd love to have something to feed to these pigs um, to get a little bit of breeding going on. But outside of that, I think that we are going to steer clear and kind of do things on our own, at least at first. And we are still getting a significant amount of lag, especially when we start to get a lot of articles on screen. Which is unfortunate. I was hoping to be able to run this pack, uh, to run this series with shaders, but it looks like they are lagging badly. Um, I'll mess around with the settings, see if we can get that to improve a little bit, because I'd love to be able to use the shaders. Um, but of course, I also want to have the best experience for you guys while you're viewing. So if it comes at sacrificing the shaders in order to get smooth FPS, then that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. Well, the sun is going down, we are going to start getting some monsters spawning. The way that I see it, we have two options. We can either borrow one of the beds from the villagers, or we can find some sheep. Uh, we don't have shears yet, so that second option might be a little bit extreme. In fact, yeah, let's let's go and borrow a villager's bed for the night. I know that I said that I didn't want to be relying on this place, and I won't take the bed. I'll, I'll leave that be and work on getting my own. But just for tonight, it will give us a place to rest so that we're not dealing with monsters. We've got a little bit of a foundation set up, enough so that I want to go and try and do some mining. Um, there are some caves over there, but they are uh, fairly high up, so we might be a little bit too high for iron, uh, which is primarily what I want to do. Um, obviously, there's always strip mining, um, but that is a little bit boring. But I have found 
check this out. We have a little ravine not too far away. Ooh, and we can already hear the mobs inside. Now, I don't have any torches yet. I should smelt up some charcoal when I get a second, but let's just see. There's some exposed iron down there and plenty of mobs surrounding it. Oh boy. Not... Oh, we got a bit of a drop. Oh, there is some blackstone down there, which I believe means that that is a geode. So we will want to take note of that area so we can get some amethyst later on. Unfortunately, no iron in this area, which means that we are going to have to bite the bullet and go down into those caves. I will prob- oh, hold on. Will these guys notice if I just... Just grab a box. Got it. Don't got it. Oh, please don't be any creepers. There is a zombie. Um, I'm going to try and grab a couple of pieces before he gets to me. Alright, good enough. Don't want to get greedy. Oh, and he's on fire. Where's our escape route? Actually... Hold on, I've got an axe. <laughs> uh, another guy coming. I'm getting greedy. Is this too greedy? These snow creepers. Uh, we do have the brightness turned up pretty high. Just so that, mainly so that you guys are able to see, because I know that YouTube's compression when it comes to being in caves is just terrible. Um, but that is also helping us with seeing around in caves. Um, of course, that is also going to probably make me forget that I actually need to light those caves up. Uh, in order to minimize the spawning going on inside of them. But I, th I think we'll survive for now. So not bad for a quick little trip down into the mines. Uh, we got nine pieces of raw iron from that, um, which is enough to make a couple of tools. Um, one thing that I want to do is I want to make a bucket and obviously a pickaxe is going to be our priority. Oh, hold up. I have not made any coal. Let's see. All right. I don't have coal to begin with. Let's see. I can't remember off the top of my head. You know what? Let's let's throw all of our logs in there. Or we might just get one. Or we might get five. Thank you, Blazing Caves. And I am sure we will get something for this. There we go. Acquired hardware. Got additional two ingots. Just enough to make a pickaxe. Pickaxe, and then I think shears are going to be my next priority, so that we can get a bed of our own made. And with that, our two got four iron. That is enough for shears. Let's grab some wool, and then we can put together our little starting area still deciding on a block pallet. Obviously there is the, um, you know, your generic wood house that we could go with, 
Um, but I don't know, I feel like that is a little bit on the boring side. I'd like to do something a little bit more exciting than just a bunch of oak wood. So... L4 is already enough for a bed. So let's run and make that really quick. There are plenty of animals around here. I could kill, I mean, killing them for food would be the easiest, but I don't know. I'd like to, I like to focus on farming and that kind of thing and hopefully um, minimizing my uh, murdering of animals as much as I can. Oh, it's not exactly the fanciest setup ever, but we have got a little bit going here now. Um, so now for the fun part. Oh! A blessing in love. Face your fears and ask your crush out. Awarded for achieving for you, my sweet. So there are not only... Um, rewards for getting advancements in general, there are also custom rewards in here. I was not aware of that. Uh, this pack is surprising me to no end. Our spot point set. Let's see, I'd like to get at least a little bit of the farm set up low crops so that we can just, you know, have, have something. Um, yes, I could steal from the villagers. They have so much wheat, it would be so easy, but no, I want to, I want to be a good neighbor. I want to, you know, respect their boundaries and respect that they, they probably need that food more than I do, maybe. Okay, so we've got our little starting farm. Uh, I'm hoping to find other types of crops as well. Yeah, now, I know that I said that I would try and leave them alone, but if they've got carrots and potatoes, I mean, I can, as long as I'm replanting them afterward, that's, I, 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 that's not even really stealing, is it? Now, the wheat I'll leave behind, because I can make my own wheat, but Having at least a couple of other crops to get me started would be nice. Let's take a look. The village goes all the way up the mountain, so they might have other buildings. And it looks like we are in luck. We have some carrots. And those are potatoes as well. Or they could be beef roots. You know, I can never tell with the um, the other types of crops, or with any of the crops really. They all like they're they have very slight differences in shape. That's true, but I don't know. They're just so similar, at least when they're first growing. So I really cannot tell the difference between them. There we go. We have gotten some carrots without stealing, well, we replaced what we took, so that's, that's, that's not even really stealing, is it? What are we doing next? Charcoal, right, torches. We definitely need some torches so that we can see a little bit better as we are trying to do things. Okay, it's definitely a start. Um, I think we'll keep at least one pickaxe around for now, just so that we have something in case of emergencies. Oh, we can plant champagne right over here. Now yeah, we'll keep it like that for now. I am going to go back through, maybe off camera, maybe on camera, depending on how I am feeling after uploading this first episode. But I am going to go through and tidy things up, make things a little bit nicer. Um, but since we've already got iron, I would like to move on to actually building a little house. 
So there's a lot of oak around here. There's a lot of trees which I could use. And now I have even more saplings than I did a minute ago. Thank you, Blaze Caves. But I don't know. Do I want... I mean, you can't beat the classics, but an oak house just seems... Does seem a little bit basic. Maybe I go with the cherry. I'm not a huge fan of the the plank texture for cherry for cherry wood. Um, it's a little too much on the pastel side for my tastes, but I do really like um, the log and bark texture. Uh, so I don't know if I would use that for an entire build because that's a lot. But let's at least grab a bit of wood, and let's at least grab a sapling up here, uh, just so that we can have our own cherry tree set up. Ooh. You know, I had briefly considered making my base up on this hill, but now that I'm actually having to climb it, I am glad that I decided against that. This is a tall hill. And, uh, I feel like there are better uses of my time than climbing up and down this over and over. Ooh, there is a cave entrance here, though. And we've got not only iron, but also coal. And we've made the advancement part of darkness. Um, I'm not, again, I'm not familiar with most of the advancements in this pack. But considering that we just went into a dark cave, I'm assuming that one has to do with light level. Because I know that as someone who makes data packs, who really enjoys doing that, uh, I know that that is something that can be done with advancements. So I'm assuming that's how they did that. It's fancy either way. I think it's fancy. I do it all the time and think it's really fancy. So. Um. That's all of the iron I am seeing right now. Don't want to get too distracted uh, because we are running a bit low in terms of saturation, in terms of food. Oh, look at these cherry groves. I am so excited for when we finally get these in the uh, 1.20 release because they're just... Look at them. Look at that, that bark texture I mentioned. So the, the logs are a bit too much on the pastel side, but this is a really nice, like a dark... Would that be a maroon? I don't know. Colors have never been my forte. A bee nest. We could have bees. Ooh. This almost makes me rethink starting out up here. But no, it's, it's too far away from everything else. Uh, too, too much of a climb. Oh, I am gathering wood, but my main bowl here just fell out of the sky. We got a cherry sapling, so now we can uh, grow our very own cherry trees. Oh, and look at that, pink petals as well. Oh, those are lovely, and I'm not going to turn them into dye. I am going to save those. Once we've got some bone meal set up, we can go back and do something with them. Uh, but I think I'm going to leave the rest of this untouched for now, uh, but I will definitely be coming back for that bee's nest once I've either got silk touch or once I have a little bit more set up so that I can care for bees. Yeah, look at this. It's, it's not too bad going down. Um, I am going to step up. We are taking damage on the way down. I should have just brought a water bucket. But no, imagine going up and down this all of the time. Anytime that I want to go anywhere, that is, you know, not, not something that's worth it to me at this point in time. We do see, uh, there's some giant, oh, yes, there's some big oak trees, birch trees. Ooh, Birch wood might be nice to use for the building material for our house. 
I will have to think on that. Alright, so first thing that we are going to do now that we are back is plant our cherry saplings. Now, the cherry trees, especially the bigger ones, tend to be a little bit difficult to break down. Uh, they're kind of like these big oak trees where they have a lot of logs in seemingly random spots. So this is... oh, and that was our first torch placed down. Um, the shader pack that I'm using does feature kind of a kind of like the the old overlay that you used to have with was it JEI or it could have been a feature. I don't think it was ever a feature of Minecraft. I'm probably completely wrong. Um, but you can see that we were able to see kind of the light level and you can see it here. Um, only happens when we have torches out, and I will probably turn that setting off um, just because I'll be carrying torches around a whole lot, and I don't want to be seeing that all of the time. Um, but it shows us where mobs can spawn, uh, both underground uh, in minimum light and also above ground. So, all of this area uh, you can see. When it's nighttime, mobs will be spawning, and we will be having some trouble with them uh, unless we get things lit up a little bit. Now, I put it off as much as I can. I was hoping that my crops would grow a little bit faster, but as you can see, we are getting dangerously low in terms of hunger. So I think that these pigs are going to have to go. Um, there's other pigs. You can see they've all got custom textures uh, thanks to one of the client side mods that we have in here. But yeah, I think they are going to have to go. Don't watch, little guys. And oh, do we really need one more? Let's leave the the, the fancy patterns and just. Ooh, I hate feeling like I'm picking and choosing who lives and dies, but uh, we need the meat. We need something. There we go. I'm sorry, pigs. I'll make it up to you. Maybe. You know, we could just smell this all up in a furnace, but I'm thinking we should make a smoker. Some of our brand new coal in there. Oh, and almost forgot to put our iron in there. These advancements even give us experience as well. That is good to know. Alright, so we've got our infrastructure set up. Well, some of it anyway. We've got our source of food, we've got our crops starting to grow. I think it is time to focus on what our house is going to look like. How we want to set up our little starter base. Now, obviously, I haven't decided for sure if this is where I want to stay. I may end up moving later on, um, but for now, this is a nice little spot that has access to a lot of resources that we need. So I think that we have cleared out a nice little space here. Aside from a random hole in the ground, let's fix you. Okay, I think it is time uh, to decide on what our little starter house is going to look like. I think I will uh, try out a couple of designs, see if I can find something that I like, and then we will go forward and we will build that. Alright, so I did some messing around in my build world and found a color palette that I like, uh, which is going to make use of the 
cherry uh, logs as well as birch, which we haven't grabbed yet, but we saw some birch trees earlier. Oh, I, uh, I chopped down the big oak tree. Figured you guys wouldn't want to watch me going through the whole thing. Spoiler alert, it took a long time. Let's go and grab that birch tree that we saw earlier. There it is, lone birch, oh well, I guess there's a few birch trees up here. Villagers, I'm sorry that I'm stealing another one of your things, but I mean, I doubt you're using it for anything, so uh, feel justified. I leave things behind. More carrots. <gasps> it's not fully grown. If I take it, it's gonna. No, no, we'll resist. I'm not stealing from villagers. Not today. Maybe another time. Let's get our lovely new birch sapling planted. Um, I probably should look into getting some armor, getting some weapons, and going and fighting some mobs. Mainly because I need to find some skeletons. Need to get some bones, need to get bone meal, so that we can grow things a little bit faster. Apples! Because our build is going to take a lot of birch, more birch than we have right here. It's also going to take quite a bit of cherry wood, so I can grab that as well. Alright, Mr. Cherry Tree, your time has come. You are beautiful, but you must be destroyed. So I am using a mod called Lightmatica in order to get a look at what the structure idea that I came up with is going to look like. Um, I'm not much of a builder, um, definitely not going to be the most impressive looking build in the world, but what we do need is a lot of cherry logs in order to pull that off, as well as a lot of birch logs, so hopefully these saplings start growing soon. Light Medica is very nice, um, it's doing some kind of weird things because of the shaders. It gives us a very nice view of kind of what our structure is going to look like. Um, I messed around with a few things, put this together in creative mode, and found something that I liked, so we are going to build that. And I know that some people aren't huge fans uh, when it comes to mods, especially in vanilla Minecraft, but you know, this, it really helps me to kind of organize and to get things figured out, so I apologize if that's not something that you're into. Uh, feel free to leave feedback about that in the comment section. And let me know and I will try to take that into consideration in the future. It would be really nice, and I have been saying this for years, a lot of other creators have been saying it as well, would be if we could have some sort of wooden alternative to the stone cutter, or maybe even just put uh, recipes for like, wooden recipes in the stone cutter uh, just for so that we can have blocks that are a little easier and maybe even a little cheaper to craft. Uh, if you're not familiar, the stone cutter um, is used for making blocks and is usually able to do so at a bit of a discount. So a lot of those um, stone bricks and things like that 
you can create them using the stone cutter and they will be cheaper than if you were to craft them in a crafting table. It would be nice if we had some sort of alternative like that for wood. Uh, I'm only griping about that now because it's an issue right here in this moment. But uh, I guess that's how most issues become issues, is that people think about them and have a problem with them and then try to think of solutions for how to solve them. I think that gives me enough of an idea of what I'm doing that we can uh, get rid of the Lightmatica overlay. Um, like I mentioned, very nice for building, especially for people who are maybe not the most adept at building, but it can also get a little bit visually annoying as well. So I'll, I'll try to use it sparingly. Um, if you guys aren't a fan of it, then I'll avoid using it at all, or at the very least avoid using it on camera, um, just because it, it definitely seems to clash pretty starkly with those shaders. Something else I am hoping to find at some point would be some bamboo. Um, I haven't taken too much time to look around the area, so it's always possible that there could be a jungle biome nearby. But if there is, then I haven't seen one yet. Um, bamboo, of course, can be used to make scaffolding, which is going to be a huge help in terms of building. Huge help for people who are actually good at building, and it'll also be a huge help for me who is not. And this is exactly why. I could just place a block, but I'm too stubborn for that. There. Tree harvested. I hope. We have been recording for quite a while now. I'm not sure how this, how long this episode is going to turn out to be in the end. I'd like to, uh, my goal for today was to get some basic resources and to at least get a starter house built. So just about reached that goal. Let's work on that just a little bit more. Oh. It broke. I suppose I should probably make an iron axe at some point, but being stingy with resources has always been a thing. So, we'll, uh, we're not doing this again. We're getting close, though. We're, uh... We'll, we'll get there eventually. And this should be just enough birch to finish it off. I promise I'll clean up everything after I'm done with it. I sound a bit like a child when I say that, don't I? And just the last few pieces. Hey, there we go. It's not the most impressive looking build in the world. Something's off. Oh, I think it's just the perspective. Something feels weird. Ah, whatever. For someone who never builds, or doesn't ever put much thought into their builds, I think it came out all right. It's a little bit basic, but hey, so am I. Right. Well, I think we have made some pretty good progress today. We got some materials, we built our little starter house. I will probably take some time off camera to move everything in, clean up the uh, bit of a mess that we left around here, and just get everything looking nice and tidy. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you feel generous, feel free to leave a like, and if you're feeling really generous, you're welcome to subscribe. This is the first video going up on the channel, so it would really help me out if you would subscribe. 
Anyway, that's going to do it for me today, so I will catch you on the airwaves. Goodbye.